Hello everyone, welcome back to more Geometry Dash. And today I will be showing you guys my next extreme demon, which is Forbidden Isle by Silo. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm just going to do a practice run of it and explain some stuff. And then I'll try to do a few runs after it. And I would actually consider this a pretty decent jump from Accu, even though this and Accu were both considered like easy extreme demons. So if we go to the GDDP and then go over to the Platinum tier, uh, we can see this and Accu are both in the same tier. But this level has more like ship and wave based gameplay, and it just takes more overall skill to beat. But I definitely feel like it's something I can do, so I guess let's just get into it. Forbidden Isle, let's do this. So at this beginning part, you can just hold like this. And then you can skip that pink pad, which is kind of funny. So these first few jumps are pretty easy, just do that. And that jump right there is actually kind of hard. It's probably the equivalent of like an extended triple spike. Because I swear to god I died here so many times. There we go, and then we do that easy jump. And then the ship part, it's really hard at first, but it actually gets super consistent. What I do is I go one, two, one, one, two, one, and then, yeah, you just have to practice and it'll get consistent and this ball part's pretty easy just some easy timings those two clicks are kind of tight though and then bam so i'm at the point where i do that like basically every attempt so that's good and then this cube part is definitely one of the easier parts of the level just some timings and then this ship part Again, just like the first one, it gets really consistent once you learn it. But it's still pretty tight, so you gotta be decent at ship. Then this ship transition, or this wave transition right here is a little bit awkward, because you'll just shoot down like that. So what I do is just start clicking right away, and then you won't die. And this wave is definitely one of the harder parts of the level, but there's definitely a click pattern to it. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. And then right here, I used to like do a click and then do another click into that portal, but I find it to be easier to just go into it like that. Like that. And I like to do a double click right here. Like, technically you can do it just one click. Actually, can you? Can you do just one click right there? I don't think you can actually. So right here I do double click nope double click and then i do another double click right there and then yeah so that wave part you just you just got to learn the inputs so this cube right here it actually didn't really didn't take me that long to memorize so i'll put on hit boxes so i can see what i'm doing so you hit those two and then you jump there, jump there, then you fall down, and then you hit that. And then you hit those two, jump there, and then hit those, and then you can just hold the button right there. I, pro I probably explained I probably explained that really bad, but you can just slow the video down and see what I'm doing. And then we get to a little break part, but you still have to time these jumps. And I can barely see it. The lighting in my room right now is, isn't ideal for this part. And then we get to the drop, which I've gotten to once in normal mode, and I died right there, exactly. So, the CFO part's pretty easy, you just go 1, 1, 2, 1, and then right here, 1, 2, you hit that, and then you go 1, 2, 3, but you have to wait a little bit longer on the fourth one. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that part's pretty easy. And then this transition into the mini ship is a little bit weird, but... You just get it with practice. And this part's just all about skill with the wave. And yeah, there's there are actually some high CPS parts in this. So this is two block spam at three times speed, which for some people is pretty hard. And then right here, I just do one click out of there, and then I hit that, and then hit that. And you just have to control your gravity really well which I am not doing right now. And right here I usually do four clicks 
one, two, three, four. Then this part's a little weird because you can't actually buffer that. You have to wait a little bit, but you can't wait too long or else you'll do, wait, hold on, or else you'll do that. So you have to wait a little bit, but you still have to hit it pretty early. Then you have to hit this late and then just one, two, one, two, one, two, nope, one, two, one, two. And then just wave part. And then transitioning into this duel is a little weird because I'll always jump too early because of the speed change. So you wait a little bit longer than you think you have to on that first jump. And then jump there. And right here, I, I usually just do one click. You don't need to straight fly like that. So just one click. Nope. One click. And there's not much explaining I can really do for those wave parts. Just pure wave skill. And then this part, I always go too fast at that ball part. I always do that. So you have to go like one, two, three, four. One, nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those last three inputs have to be a lot faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, you have to do those last three really fast. Oh, can I do it to the end? Oh, okay. And just another ship part. You actually have to hold the button down a lot longer than you think you have to, because if you just tap it like that, you'll do that. Because it's a pink orb, so it doesn't shoot you very far. And then just transition to a big ship. And then this last mini wave is kind of evil. Like, I'm definitely going to die here a few times. So one, two, three. I notice on that third one, I always hold the button too long for some reason. So just don't hold the button as long as you think you have to. And then, and then we got another <laughs> spam part. Then this last straight fly is a little bit evil because transitioning into it's kind of awkward. So you just go down. And then you go to the end of the level. So I'm not the best at explaining stuff. You'll just have to go through and try it yourself if you want to do it. But my comment, my comment from 18 hours ago is here of me getting 56%. So now I'm going to show you a few runs that I've done on this level, including the 56% run. So yeah, let's get to it. Oh, what? I was going to use the clip of me getting 56, but then I just get 65 out of nowhere. 